You know, I love my work, but I love being a father even more. Mm -hmm. Justin? If you're going to be in Diamond City anytime soon, I have a favor to ask of you. You might not be aware of it, but the city's mayor is a synth, an institute plant. He monitors developments in the Commonwealth and compiles reports on matters of possible interest to us. Since you visit the surface more than anyone else down here, I figured you could pick up the latest report. I'm not a mailman. Send one of your robots. I can't send a courser into Diamond City without starting a panic. And that's the last thing the mayor needs. Kellogg usually took care of this. But since he's dead, I have nobody left to ask. The mayor will be waiting in his office. He'll give you the report, and then you'll bring it back to me. Remember, discretion is vital to our operations in Diamond City. So try to keep a low profile. Synth unit, you were scheduled for maintenance duty in SRB last night. Anything you'd like to report? Nothing to report, sir. I carried out my duties, as usual. Dr. Ao saw you accessing a terminal. You know you are not permitted to access terminals in that section. Is Dr. Ao mistaken? Yes. I mean, no, he's not. But I was only... What is it? Were you or weren't you accessing a terminal in SRB? I was. But I swear it's not what it sounds like. I was cleaning the terminal and it... it switched on by mistake. I was just shutting it down. Was that a stutter? Have you developed a defect, unit? Maybe you need to be reset. Sir, I assure you that won't be necessary. It won't happen again. See that it doesn't. You don't want me to tell you twice. Now get back to your duties. Hey, Dr. Watson doesn't think I'm institute material. I'm gonna prove him wrong. Guess we'll find out. Clayton. I'm glad you're here. I'd like to conduct an experiment, but I need some assistance with it. I believe we can improve the growth rates of our crops by using mutated cells, such as those found in super mutants. To test this theory, I'll need a tissue sample from a particularly strong super mutant. I expect I'll eventually need several such samples, but let's just start with one. The hell with that. Do it yourself. We're not fighters. We're scientists. We'd be no match for one of those creatures. I know it's a lot to ask, but please at least consider it. You might well be the only one here who can do this job. You need a tissue sample from a strong super mutant. Got it. That's right. Now remember, only a particularly hardy super mutant will fit the bill for this experiment. I don't need it right away, but if you do come across such a specimen, I'd be grateful if you could bring back a sample. Doctor? Well, well, if it isn't our visitor from the past. Some time ago, we covertly replaced the family patriarch at Warwick Homestead with a synth. He's been field testing a variety of genetically modified seeds that I created. Take this packet of seeds to the Roger Warwick synth. Be careful with these. They represent years of genetic manipulation and enhancement. Hopefully you can manage such a simple task. Don't patronize me, pencil neck. I... I meant no offense, just, um... Well, let's move on. Now listen closely, because this next part is vitally important. When Roger asks how your trip was, tell him 
Some blood bugs chased you halfway across the Commonwealth. That code phrase will identify you as an agent of the Institute. Also, you must be discreet. Do nothing to draw attention to yourself or raise suspicion. And if your synth has been compromised? Then you'll have to improvise. You seem clever, I'm sure you'll manage. Now hurry on to Warwick Homestead so we can begin the experiment. Well, this will be an This way, pal. Hey, Cricket. Come on, come on! Get your guns here! Small booms, big booms, I got them all. Let's see what you've got. And there they are! Did your hearts get a beat too? I'm just the gate guard. If you need anything, you need to talk to the mayor. I might just do that. There's a good dog.
McDonough. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. I trust you've been sent by our mutual friend, Mr. Io. I hope he's doing well. He's fine. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. We caught a young man painting some kind of graffiti in one of the alleys. We've since cleaned it up and dealt with the criminal, but uh, I wouldn't be at all surprised if it was some sort of railroad propaganda. Operating here in the city is bold, even for them. Still, our mutual friends should know about this. The full details are in my report, along with some other points of interest. Here it is. Make sure that nobody sees this. Better you destroy it than let it fall into the wrong hands. So if this shows up in public occurrences, that's bad? Got it. Very funny. I'll let you see yourself out. Do travel safely. A beer and my slippers after this shift. That's all I ask. Geneva. Remember, you didn't get that key from me. Now, if you're actually interested in buying a house, we have a permit available. Let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. Tell me more about this house. The previous owner bought an adjacent warehouse and knocked down a few walls, so it's bigger than most. And he left behind his old tools, so you'll have everything you need to modify the inside however you see fit. I'll take it. Here's the key. Let me be the first to welcome you as a resident of the Great Green Jewel. Hey, Nat. Public is here to pull the wool out from under your eyes. We buy and sell everything to everyone, except this. No sense of... Hey, Arturo. We can talk about guns, or maybe you want to consider something more up close and personal. Let's see what you have. Feel free to test the grips.
good. I need a long break. Sweet. Sweet. Hey. There is nothing like the feeling of strutting around in your soup, Jack. Absolutely. There we go.
Yes. All right, cats. I call this one Metal Heart. <clears throat> metal legs. Metal arms. Metal heart. Tool of war. Tool of peace. Tool of art. I get into my suit and I strut through the wastes. No fear. Untouchable. The flames on my suit burning, rising, glowing. The flames are hot, but I am cool. I walk, I run, I ride. My hands are strong. I am a man. No, more than a man. Because, man, I have a metal heart. Nosebleed. Just where do you think you are? This is Adam Cat territory. Adam Cat? You know, the Adam Cats. The coolest power armor gang in the Commonwealth. Oh, I know what this is. You want to join up with the Cats, don't you? I guess you don't look like a total wet rag. What's your deal? Are you writing a book? I'm the boss of the Adam Cats, and souped up power armor is my bag. Now, Let's put your skills to the test. My girl Rowdy should have something for you to get your bread hooks on. She also trades in power armor mods and frames. Get yourself hooked up while you're there, Jack. <coughs> Think of buying from the cats as a donation towards a more cool commonwealth. What do you say? What's new around here, Jack? We've been thinking about getting out there and finding some new suits to play with. We should take a few from those nosebleeds in the Brotherhood of Steel, right? I'll take a look, sure. Rowdy has like a thousand projects going on. He's gotta have something for you. Whatever you say. <clears throat> Where's it at, kitty cat? Taking stocks. Litter box? Oh, I've never heard that one before. Well, if you need someone to show you around, I'm your girl. Can you help me get the lay of the land of this place? Can I? I'll tell you what's what with the Adam Cats. Rowdy handles the power armor mods. She's also the coolest chick I know. Usually hangs out in the garage. Blue Jay does sales. Anything to buy or sell that isn't power armor, he's got it covered. Um, let's see. Duke and Johnny D keep their peepers open for bad news cats who want to mess with our digs. I'm almost done. Zeke's the boss. Started this whole outfit. And well, I just dare you to find a cat cooler than Zeke. And then there's me, the newest Adam cat, Roxy. Got it all memorized, Jack? Rowdy has like a thousand projects going on. She's gotta have something for you. I wrote this one about this thing that happened to me the other day. I call it. Hard shell, soft me. A walk on the beach, doing my thing. Hell yeah. Staying cool. A thing. Breaks the, the surface of the dark deep. Within the shell. Beady little eyes, full of hunger, full of rage. I pull out my gun and shoot. But the bullets only bounce off that crusty shell. Those beady eyes narrow as the shell devil grows angrier and angry. He comes at me faster than before. A bullet finds its way to a crack in the dome. The demon screeches in pain. Those beady eyes close. I reap the spoils from the kill! And I think, this thing and I, we are kind of the same. For I, too, am soft meat under a hard shell. Thank you. Hey there. I've got this idea. Hear me out. A suit of power armor with a jetpack on the back. Well, it's a far out idea, but it would never work. 
Rowdy. Hi. I saw you over there gabbing with Zeke. What's the story? Something about bread hooks? Bread hooks, you know? Hands? <laughs> what a square. From the looks of it, I'd say Boss Man thinks you have a little Adam cat in you. Wants all Rowdy to see if you have what it takes to shack up with us. The only cat in me is the one I cooked up for dinner last night. Don't sell yourself short, Buster. I've been putting off hauling myself over the ponds of work for this, but now you get to do it. This here's something I've been fixing up. Part of the pump system at work. Thing was clogged up like Zeke after one too many cans of cram. I want you to go to the pump shed there and install it. Warwick? Warwick's an old water plant turned farm just east of here. Bunch of squares who spent all day digging in the dirt. Oh, and uh, make sure to let June Warwick know when you're done. She's the bird in charge around there. You staying out of trouble? I can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. Hmm. Sorry to hear that. Hey there. Uh, my back hurts. My feet hurt. Everything hurts. Understandable. Hi. Hope you ain't one of them synths. Here to spy on me.
just another day for me. Hell yeah. Hey there. I saw you working in the pump shed over there. Are you with the Atom Cats? Meow. Oh, um, I'll take that as a yes. So is that pump all fixed up now? Yep. All patched up with duct tape and bubble gum. Wow. Well, at least the Atom Cats work quick. Now we have to do our part to get this thing working. I'm sure you guys will hear from me if we have any more problems. Maybe someday this will do the farm some good. The Atom Cats have been such a great help to us. You must be hungry. Here, take some food back with you. And please, send Zeke my thanks. Yes. Hi. Didn't run into too much trouble coming out here, I hope. Some blood bugs chased me halfway across the Commonwealth, but I made it. Yeah, those things can be pretty territorial. Glad they didn't catch you. Since you traveled all this way, how about a quick tour? Right this way, if you please. I'll show you what we've been up to here at the Warwick Homestead. I bought this place about five years ago. I admit it was a little impulsive, but I don't regret it a bit. I'm not sure how long these metal structures are going to last, but they seem to have weathered the elements pretty well so far. June's a heck of a cook. I feel no shame in admitting that's half the reason I married her. You got Fair the seeds? Enough. Good. I'll take those. You got the seeds? Good. I'll take those. Listen, I need your help. The whole operation's in danger of being exposed. The Institute builds an underground scientific utopia. And you're their crowning achievement. The future is fucked. You try working alone with no support for months on end. See how easy it is. So here's the problem. I think my foreman, Bill Sutton, suspects what I really am. He's been spying on me and having secret conversations with our farmhand, Cedric. Now, he's starting to work on my wife and kids. Trying to turn them against me, too. Just how dangerous is this foreman? Is he a real threat? I don't know, maybe. He's heard all the same boogeyman stories as everyone else. A lot of people up here are scared. They're seeing scents around every corner. Anyway, there's more to it. Cedric's vanished. Bill says he had to visit a sick relative, but I think he went to get help. Now, oh, great. This just gets better and better. If Bill's taken June and the kids into his confidence, he might have told them what he's planning. Right now, they're too suspicious to talk to me about it. But they've got no reason to suspect you. Just remember, Bill's got them all pretty scared. It's not gonna be easy. Well, hello. Sorry, lady, but I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Well, I'm not a stranger. I'm a friend of your father's, and I'm here to help him. Oh, good. I'm really glad you're here. 
because I'm scared something bad is gonna happen to my dad. Foreman Bill said dad's a synth. That's like a robot who looks like a real person. Foreman Bill said he had an idea to take care of our synth problem. He gave Cedric some caps and said I'm a good neighbor. I wish they would just leave my dad alone. Hi. Another one of Roger's mysterious friends, huh? Hmm. <clears throat> Things are so messed up around here lately. Hey. June's a heck of a cook. I feel no shame in admitting that's half the reason I married her. Thanks for your help. Nice. Get him. Excellent.
Nice. Good riddance. Done and done. Sweet. Find something? Rowdy. Oh, all done? Yeah. And did you know about the terrible smell over there? Phew. Why you think I've been putting off going back over there? Seriously, who builds a farm at a sewage treatment plant? Yeah, <laughs> that place was a real dump, huh? Thanks for taking care of our business there. June said you guys help out at Warwick a lot. When we found this place, they helped us get on our feet. Gave us food, you know? Didn't even ask for nothing back. And we've been cooking up a plan to get that pump working again so we can flush out that grody sludge. <laughs> As a way to say thanks. Don't go spilling the beans that the Adam cats have a heart or something. Just so you know, I will be checking your work. The cats won't take credit for shoddy craftsmanship. So she had the skills to spiff up the Warwick pump. <laughs> Should we rustle her jimmies with something else? Crap! We got gunners coming in hot! Gunners! What the? Adam cats! Let's stop! Mama. 
I'm not tired of Zeke winning everything all the time. No, not tired at all. Ugh, gunners! Those wet rags keep trying to get their mitts on our suits. But you, Jack? Ho <laughs> ho You slayed! Because of you, we didn't lose a single cat today. It was no big deal. No. You, you are out of sight. And a friend of the cats in my book. You have full reign of our digs. And, uh, you know, I can get you hooked up with a little discount around here. Yeah? Finally, the holy grail for anyone who knows what's cool in the Commonwealth. Your very own Adam Cat's jacket. Wear it well, Jack. <clears throat> Been thinking about trying something new with my hair, but, uh, why mess with perfection? Huh. You're off to the scrap heap. <laughs> 